Hey everyone and welcome back to another Dropified video training tutorial. This one's going to be a little bit beefier of an installment because I'm going to be teaching you how to import reviews from AliExpress into Shopify. Now it's a little bit more of an involved process than what we've done thus far but that's okay just stick with me and we'll get through this together. So once you log into Dropify, go down to Tools in the left-hand side menu, click on it, and go to Import Reviews. That's going to bring you to this blog post that's kind of a step-by-step -step tutorial, but for those of us who are more visual learners like me, this video is going to help you out. You don't have to read this. So in the first paragraph, you're going to see Product Reviews app. You're going to have to click on that and install that into your Shopify store. Okay. So now that I'm already logged into Shopify, it's gonna ask me if I want to install the app, and I do. So we're gonna install that really quickly. So as you can see, we haven't had any reviews yet because we haven't imported them, but before we do anything, we have to go and install some code. Now, it sounds a little bit daunting, but we're going to be okay. Okay. So once you go to the settings menu, you're going to see install instructions. So click this button, and you're going to see some code right here that you're going to have to copy and paste into your store template. Now, we're going to copy that. And again, this is a little bit more daunting than it act. It looks more daunting than it actually is, but we're going to get through this. So after that, we're going to click this link right here, which is going to open up our template file, which basically controls all of the different products and how they look in our store. So by editing this, we only have to do this once, and we just copy and paste this into it, and then that way, from here on out, all of your products are going to get the ability to show product reviews from AliExpress. So we click on this right here. And as you can see, we're in the code now. The best way to do this, you can basically copy and paste the text into wherever you want, but the best practice is probably going to be under the product description. So I did control F, which will let me search for the product description. So that way we can post our product reviews below the product description. So see this little closing tab right here? We're gonna press enter twice and then just paste that right there. Don't forget to press save or else it won't stick. All right, so we saved. And if we go to a product right now, it's not gonna be immediately obvious that anything has changed. That's where the importing of reviews comes in. So what we're going to need to do now is go back to Dropified, and we're going to have to go to our products. In the left-hand side menu, it's under products. So as you can see, we've got a lot of products here, but it's important that we only go to the connected products in this tab, or else none of the products are going to show the reviews tab we need to edit. So right here, you can see that in our list of options, reviews is not part of it. So we're going to go back to connected. And as you can see, these are the products that are actually in my Shopify store. So we click on it here. And then as you can see right here, reviews has been added to the list of options. So we click on it. And from here, you can see what product reviews we have. So you can do five stars, one stars, anything in between, all positive, negative. I'm going to do all stars because that's just good practice. Get a good feel for the entire product as a whole instead of just cherry picking. You also have the options to do pictures, which this doesn't have many of. But right now, we've got seven total pages. For the sake of this, I'm going to do two and then you press import, and then after those have loaded, you're gonna get a download option. And this is gonna download what's called a CSV file, and it's gonna be called reviews. I've done this a few different times, so it's gonna have a number behind it, but that's okay. As long as it's a .csv file, you're good to go. 
So now we go back into our store and then we go back to apps and click product reviews. Now that lets us import the reviews from our CSV file. So click import reviews, choose the file, make sure you choose the right one. open and then make sure you click this box that says import using month day year date format or else it might not work so it might take a little while depending on how big the things are but now as you can see we've imported the product reviews so we've got all of these right here and if we want to we can just bulk edit and publish all of them so now you can see it's being updated and it will be reflected in just a few minutes. Now, in my experience, it's gone pretty quickly, so let's check to see if it's already added. We can go to our product and then I can preview it to see how it looks. Okay, so as you can see, our product listing right here and right here is our product reviews. Now you might notice there's something a little bit funky with the way they're shown. So some different templates in Shopify don't support code uh, in the display. So as you can see, you can see the P tags for the paragraph tags. Have no fear, we're going to fix that right now. So close this out. Go back to apps. Press product reviews. Go back to settings. Go back to the install instructions, click on this file again, and then we're going to go back to the tutorial where at the bottom you can scroll down. As you can see, we've already troubleshot this and troubleshooted, troubleshot, I'm not sure. Why do my reviews show the HTML tags? Well, we've already fixed this, so click this to get the code scroll all the way down and then this big beefy bunch of code we copy and paste and then we scroll all the way to the bottom of our template file and just copy and paste it there so save now we can go back to our product Let it load, scroll down to it, preview, and here you go, it's all fixed. Now as you can see, there's actual product photos that some people have taken, and now everything looks correct. And that's how you do it. Uh, it's a little bit more involved of a process, but this adds a whole new level of legitimacy because not only are you carrying a bunch of great products, you can also show your potential customers that other people have bought these products before and enjoy them as well while looking at the different pros and cons. And then that way, people know exactly what to expect when they order your products. But that's going to pretty much do it for importing reviews. Uh, if you have any more questions, you can always reach out to us through our customer support. But besides that, have a great rest of your day.